Okay, it's time to see what ending I got. Uh, that's not a surprise at all. I spoiled it like 15 times. True freedom ending go. This cutscene is always the same. It's just Vincent waking up, checking his phone, smiling victoriously. So where you get this scene no matter what ending you get? Yeah. Yep. It's morning. I'm alive! You, you have done well, Vincent, that we are in need for a new god of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to charge it. It's out of batteries. All right. And now he's calling up someone. And that leads into whatever the ending is. Is the ending an anime cutscene? Or not anime oh, cutscene. Mix. Kind of call the pizza guy. It's a mix. <laughs> okay. So here's where the endings start to change, right? Yes. All right. What do you mean you give up? To be honest, you really thought I was gonna die last night, but I lived, and I'm free, right? Yes. A promise is a promise. Okay. With all that shit going on yesterday. Technically, you didn't have to do it. You sort of volunteered for it, but. What? I'm not sure anything I said would cause you to do this. Look. Everyone's got to die sometime, right? Yep. how powerful you are, how much Yep. Well, you could keep yourself alive as a sheet of skin on a on a stand for like two thousand years, but I, I wouldn't want to do that. It's kind of demeaning. This is probably the smartest option Vincent could uh, pick, because uh, from what I can uh, see from um, like the 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 past week, you know, he is not ready to get married. You, you know, no fight with a uh, evil. Um, sheep god is going to change his emotional state that rapidly so where he's suddenly like responsible enough to handle marriage and shit so you know that's actually I think the most reasonable decision he could come to well it's all about decisiveness in the end so you only get the true lover's ending if you're very decisively law oriented and very decisive about wanting to marry if you get the good lover's ending yeah you're getting married and you actually get an extra scene that shows that things are still a little strained between the two. Oh, you do? Yeah. The the, the good the good lovers versus uh, good true lovers ending are actually the only two uh, variant endings where you actually get a, an extra scene that's exclusive to the worst ending. Uh, so what happens if you get the good cheaters ending as opposed to the true cheaters ending? Or are they you get the a you you get a you, the the true cheaters ending has an extra scene at the end. And otherwise, it's just the regular cheater's ending. All right. You want five hundred dollars? I could probably manage that. Fifty thousand dollars. What? No. He's asking so that he can go on the space tour. Is that a GeckoCon logo from Persona Three on the wall in the back? Yes, it is. Wow. I didn't notice that before. I didn't notice that before. I gotta invest in myself. Here's the deal. The deadline for the first <laughs> I gotta invest in myself. I wanna go space touring. That's just selfish. Selfish? That's nothing. You're the one that almost got me killed for no reason. Argue all you want, but I can't give what I don't have. This is all I've got. What? Seriously? So wait, what happens now? Is he um This isn't nearly Well obviously Vincent can't go to space. Oh, <laughs> he takes the boss's money and goes all in on a single match, and that's the neutral ending. The true neutral ending, he wins. The the regular neutral ending, he loses. He doesn't carry the way. It's not his money. <laughs> that's why the 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 um the uh, good freedom endings um trophy name is just like whatever, man. It is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Does he bet on the same wrestler every time? Um, 
Uh, like the same wrestler in yeah. both endings? Oh. Yeah. Feather is the, the, the wrestler that they mentioned in an earlier cutscene when he was criticizing the others for betting on women's wrestling in the first place. So wait, so wait a minute. How decisive Vincent is determines whether or not a completely unrelated wrestler wins his wrestling. Uh, all right, then. Sure. Yeah. I can go with that. It's like, well, Astaroth said something about if this is if 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 the truth is in you, your future will be blessed. So it's voodoo, good luck stuff. I don't know. Eh. Shut up, Trisha. Yes, I noticed. Shut up. <laughs> At this point, are the game designers just jerking off to themselves? This is the sort of thing you explain at the beginning of a game. No, he's, she's explaining the symbolism in the story and stuff. What the symbolism that this is the morality bar. It goes one way <laughs> if you believe one thing, and the other if you believe the other thing. That's... That's a tutorial. Wow, she just explained the symbolism of pushing and pulling blocks. Uh, that's not exactly what he said, but I guess that's a paraphrase. I mean, you guys wrote the game, sure. Why not? Did she have this southern accent at the beginning of the game? Yes. Oh. If this is the true answer he has for his future, then I want to see what happens now. He wins his bet. After all, nobody has their future. Especially people whose futures are determined by gambling. Yeah, Back to the Future 3 taught me the same lesson. In a much more coherent fashion. That is one what jiggly they... afro. Yes, yes it is. I'm surprised that they uh, put jiggle physics on the afro instead of, you know, some other things. Oh no, those got those have jiggle physics too, just not dead or alive jiggle physics. Oh, I like those jiggle physics. They're I don't. They're well, I guess bouncy. we know who's playing the extreme volleyball games for us. They're jarring and they make me wince in sympathetic pain because that's got to be uncomfortable. But boobs... Shut up. But boobs. Shut up. I guess I'm just not oh, guess what Johnny did the moment the moment those two broke up. Rebound. He tried to be the rebound. It didn't happen. I asked Catherine out. She did what? Hey, you two broke up, right? Why do you care? Because that's like incredibly awkward and Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's like a like a, some sort of social rule, like you don't date one of your best friend's exes, especially one you've been, like, especially if they've been together for however... How long were Vincent and Catherine dating before the game started? Like five years? Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 years? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, Johnny was about to say, uh, the in-game Johnny was about to say, maybe Catherine still, you know, cares about you. Maybe she just needs some time because she broke up with a five-year boyfriend. Jesus Christ. Okay. And that's the ending. Well, at least before the credits roll. Is this cutscene the same in the less... Yeah. Neutral ending. Yeah. What What'll happen is during the credits, there's this sort of there's this sort of anime slideshow of things that happen between the credits and the ending, and it'll show him losing his bet if he uh if he loses the bet. Wow. Except the scriptwriter. Yeah. <laughs> Wrestling scripted. Oh, Ted. <laughs> actually, drink, Ted. actually, I don't. I've never once watched a wrestling match. Never once. So you didn't grow up with the uh, WWF. Or no, I never. WCW. I never cared anything about uh, wrestling. So you poor child. Why? You, you need to watch it for the Normie acting. Or I could not. Normie acting. 
It's awesome. It's glorious. It's like I've never the best watched years of my childhood growing I, I, up I'm just blowing era. smoke. I, I don't watch wrestling. It's like some of the best years of my life growing up with the Attitude Era. Hmm. So cheesy. So good. So that was interesting, I suppose. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's certainly different. It's different. It's quite a bit more fun to play than watch, at least if you like puzzle games. Uh, I will, um, I will say it's not... If like, you like it, this particular kind of puzzle game, I'm sorry. It's no, uh, no, I'm uh, more talking talking about the kind of story that was being told here, and the kind of... Uh, to me, this is not something I would play for very long. I mentioned that earlier, like, uh, the, the game didn't hold my interest very long, but that's because of... I'm not really into that sort of genre to begin with. And secondly, the story it's trying to tell, I don't think is very interesting for a video game. Uh, I don't really get that. How can something be interesting for some like a movie and not be interesting for a game? I don't know, because I think you have well, certain expectations when you're playing a video game compared to watching a movie. Well, yeah. here's the thing, okay? Uh, it, a story has to fit around actual gameplay. Otherwise, you get what David Cage does, where it's literally just a movie where you press buttons every now and then, and maybe it's got visual novel-style choices in it. I, I don't know. I, I haven't played this myself. The story... So, you have a PS3, Ted. Yeah, okay, just because I have a PS3 doesn't mean... For, like, what, two, three months doesn't mean that I've suddenly played every single game available on the damn thing. So, yeah. okay, uh, but even though but I... You have, you have, but the thing is, Ted, you haven't played anything on it. Well, that's because I've got other games to play. Um, where was I going? Uh, I can... Uh, I Even though I haven't played this myself, it's certainly an interesting idea for... A game story in that there's nothing really like it i think out there you know this is the only type of game i've seen which has tried to even remotely handle these sorts of like uh issues or themes and maybe it's right because there aren't a lot of games with gameplay that would fit these sort of things but i appreciate it for delving into new territory and doing it as gracefully as atlas possibly can which isn't super gracefully because atlas but you know I appreciate the effort. So it's uh, you know it, it's uh I think it works for what it is. Sort of like I think. Hi Troy Baker. <laughs> Hi Michelle Ruff. I, I I like you know uh I think Trauma Center works for oh, what Johnny it is in the too, game was uh but... was a uh, Roy Mustang. <laughs> what? Oh right, voice actors. What were you saying? Uh, I was just saying. I uh, think Johnny Young is in this. I, I think it works. I think it works for what it is in the same way that Trauma Center works for what it is. But at the same time, it's 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 not going to be a game that everyone can stick with, simply because you know it's it's when when you break out of the mold, the the mold is there for a reason because the mold is what works. And breaking out of the mold is interesting, and it it can do great things for certain people, but. The mold is still going to be what everyone, you know, likes. I, uh, I, I just, um, I guess what I'm, I'm really trying to get at here is that um, when, when I play a, a video game, uh, uh, when it comes to a story, I'm more of a, a, a fantastical sort of guy. Uh, yeah. It, it, it all depends, obviously, you know, with uh, each game individually, but what this game story centered on was focused on i didn't think was very interesting mm, yeah feather win that's another thing they don't understand about america there's an s at the end of wins <sighs> for a space tourism but only eight thousand dollars for a space tourism Wait, atlas can out? grammar they can indeed grammar why is the dollar sign at the end of the number? Why did you do that? Jeez. All right. And here's our true freedom ending. Vincent goes to space. So wait, Yay. we've been in a space station this entire time? I don't know if this is where he's leaving from or where he's... Why live a life without doing or what, what? but apparently we have space That's colonies now. <laughs> what? But what about the UFOs and the dog? <laughs> Considering how down-to-earth the characters and world is, this is kind of a out-of-left-field, isn't it? 
Yeah. But what about the UFO in the dark? Oh, we're in space. It's as close to a UFO we're going to get. Oh, you haven't gotten this ending yet? Not on this account, no. So, yeah, there's the trophy. Yay. <laughs> the All trophy right, for the true freedom endings spells out the moral of the story. So, huzzah.